All right, wrap it up with Nico and Mimi. Yeah, thank you, Ramona. Thanks, Ramona. <laughs> uh, let's get this phone call right here because somebody has a question about this whole fighting idea. Hello, V103. I have a question um, for Nico. How do you consider that this boxing man is going to separate the boys from the men? Because it's really not going to do anything but make both of y'all look stupid for fighting. Violent violence don't solve anything. Nico. Well, <clears throat> this ain't violent. This is a good fight. This is this is gonna be considered a good fight. And like I said, re- it's gonna solve a lot because half the money, twenty percent of the money is going to charity. Charity costs. So that's a great that's a great thing. And we it's for fun. So let's make it fun. Let's let him get his anger out because he hates me for some whatever reason it is. And let us have fun. Let's. It's a good sport fight. How about that? All right. So Nico, what do you think is the biggest from people either watching the show or? Hearing about things about you, what's the biggest misconception about about Nico London? You think just not understanding who I am, and that's gonna take time right. because you gotta understand. Last season, you know, I didn't get no green screen, so you know, I was edited the way they wanted me to be perceived to the world, and that's fine. But I think this season, you're gonna get a little more of who I am, a little more of Nico, and then as time go on, you see me in the street, you see me in your city, I'm doing walkthroughs. You come up to me, approach me. I'm approachable. Meet me, understand who I am, understand what I stand for, understand the revenue streams of my brand that I'm building. Right. My music, you know, to the fashion, to to, to to my fitness program. You know, understand me a little more as a person. And then, you know, I think that's the biggest misconception about me is not knowing me. All right. Now, now Mimi, we talked about the tape and we talked about a lot of other stuff, but people asking, you know, <clears throat> a lot of women say, okay, for your age, you were unbelievable in and, and, and shape. If one of these magazines said, okay, you're not going to do another tape, you're not going to release one of the other four that are still in existence, but what about a, a, a spread if, if a, what a magazine? Of, what like kind a, of spread? You know. Naked? Yeah. No, I would do something tastefully done. Like a swimwear. Yeah. Swim line. Not yeah. black, black tails? No. Damn. Okay. No, that's not happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, by then. Did he, did, can I? <laughs> right, you stupid. I want to address something real quick. While right, right, right. Right. I, I, a lot of people have uh, questions about my daughter or my yeah, parenting. Why did you, how do you explain it to yes, your daughter? Yes. When, my daughter's four right now, first of all. So my daughter is nowhere in the realm of, of understanding any of this. But when she does, and if someone brings it to her, and she has any question about anything that I've done, I will sit her down and explain why I made the decision to do what I did, how it happened, and why. Okay. And I will sit her down and explain it. And Nico offered to do the same with me. He said, we can sit her down together and talk to her about it. I will talk to my daughter like I do everything else. Honestly, there are worse things in this world that I have to explain to her, like getting going to school, getting stabbed up or shot when you go into high school. So there's worse things that I have to explain besides mommy making love to her man. So when the time comes, I will Did you use any of the money to set aside for her? Is that a trick question? No, I'm asking. Of course, I take care of her. Okay, every day. Because okay. I'm saying, like, as you, but you know, mm-hmm. the reason you're going this is because mommy did this, and I, and like you said, I mean, absolutely. The point that you made is like her through college when Steve Hurst approached y'all. In case y'all would have missed the first part of the show, mm-hmm. you said when Vivid Entertainment approached y'all, they say, look, this is going to be everywhere, and you're not going to get a dime. Right. So sign this deal with me, and at least get money off of it. Exactly. And that's what we did. Okay. Four more tapes left. Not Maybe gonna come out. Nico. No. Nico, not gonna come out. Four more tapes. No, no. That's not even. We're not even thinking about that right now. Not hey. even with the right theme music. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stupid. You got. You got not some theme not music. Even, not even with right. the shower rod record. Theme what music. kind of theme music? Sam. Yeah. Theme music, Sam. <laughs> no, not that. This. That ain't good enough. Mimi, huh? Huh? Sing, huh? What? What's going on right now? Listen. Mimi, come on. I can't hear anything. Turn up. Ding. Listen. Yeah. Can't hear anything. Can't hear anything. Booty butt cheek. Oh, my God. No? Okay, bye. No. All right, thanks, Nico. Thank y'all. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We Tune love in. you, Atlanta. And don't put no more tapes out because our kids getting a hold of these tapes. Isn't that terrible? All right. Yes, girl. The schools are upset, girl. Not, not going to change my shirt back around? Yeah. New episode me, when? Me, yes, there's a new episode of Love and Hip Hop that's coming on tomorrow, VH1, 8 o'clock. So you guys stay tuned for that. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Wednesday, v- yes. All right. We need to watch it somewhere. Yeah. We got to find yeah. somewhere to watch it. V103. All right.